say yes, don't say no. And we'll tell the world. By now, it's probably no surprise to anybody that we got a birthday number coming up here. Well, it's a surprise to me. I didn't even get a present. Me neither, Big C. That's because it's not your birthday, Nitwit. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> Cheese, folks, I gotta tell you, it's a tough way to make a living sitting up This is Chuck E. Cheese, a computer animated rat with a New Jersey accent. He's the master of ceremonies, leading a troop of puppet like characters who perform a computerized cabaret every eight minutes from the walls of the dimly lit pizza parlor. Company executives claim that within ten years, Chuck E. Cheese will be more popular than Mickey Mouse. For their master plan involves 1,000 pizza time theatres strategically located in middle class communities across the United States. We certainly are, we certainly are. So come on, ladies, hit it! Birthday one, honey bun, won't you be our birthday one? Please say yes. So far, there are six, with three more under construction and another three on the drawing boards. The idea's already spread to Japan, and it's only a matter of time before Chuck E. Cheese makes his debut in Australia. Wait a minute! That song is making me very dizzy. You want a more traditional approach, Big C? I certainly do, yes. Like what? Like happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, you get it? Got it! All right, but first let's get the actual birthday person to stand up here. It took one and a half million dollars to research and develop the Pizza Time theatres, and Chuck E. Cheese executives like Gene Landrum claim the new concept is years ahead of the more traditional fast food outlets. I believe it's primarily, Paul, the synergism of games, food and entertainment all under the same roof. Uh, we have a concept here where we've married the entertainment of the animals talking, singing, telling jokes, birthdays for groups, along with a food which is a very fun food, pizza being the, the perceived as the funnest food where you go out with a group and uh, have a party, and, uh, at least in America. And of course we've married the new computerized electronic games so that uh, the children can play games while the mother and dad are, are drinking and eating, etc. In other words, it's like an electronic babysitter. You can enjoy the illusion of a family night out without having to be bothered by the family. Yet the children then can run off and play games, can be entertained with the animals singing and talking and telling jokes. Chuck E. Cheese researchers say the idea is very popular with workaholic dads who are suffering from what they call YEG, young executive guilt. And when this guilt does drive dad into taking the kids out, guess who decides where they'll go? In this country, it's primarily uh, the child who's making that decision because I think of the guilt orientation of dad being away out of town on business, not spending enough time with the family, and I happen to have a four-year-old, and when she asked me, hey, dad, I'd like to go to the Pizza Time Theater or McDonald's or whatever, you know, I, uh, you know, I have a tough time resisting that. Hello, you know I'm here to make it a pizza, because that's my line. He tells his line. But oh! Things I need to make it a mixture are harder to find. I need to find mozzarella, macaroni, mushroom, and parmesan. Milanese, mortadella, onions, and parmesan. Pizza, pizza, pizza in the air. As for the pizzas, well, they take 15 to 20 minutes to prepare and cook, which gives the youngsters time to get hooked on the electronic games. And to help them get started, free tokens are issued with each purchase. But of course, each game only lasts a few minutes, which means the kids are soon pestering Dad to shell out for more tokens. Dad quickly learns that even an electronic babysitter has to be paid. Exactly. In fact, that's what we found. We have varied statistically trying to figure out what is the spending behavior of the American public. And what happens is uh, when you... Uh, vary the amount of tokens you give them, you would expect to see some changing uh, of the numbers in terms of how much they spend. It seems like when people come in, they have a discretionary amount of dollars that they're going to spend for entertainment. And that doesn't vary much with how much we give them free. Do you get many $5 bills through the machine? Yeah, probably 20% of our revenue is generated through the $5. That's because we are one of the few thing, uh, kind of eating out family concepts in America that's aimed at groups. 
All right, all right, now. Everyone in the audience is going to sing along here. We're going to do this nice and simple. One thing we did find, when you have a birthday party, the spending, uh, where it's typically an average of $10, it's higher for a birthday party. And people ha uh, have more discretionary money to spend in a birthday environment or a group environment. As the children sing along with the computer, another version of Chuck E. Cheese is taking shape in the kitchen. The big spending birthday parties get a personal welcome from the supersized rodent. And judging by Chuck E. Cheese's sales figures, the youngsters lap it up. Excuse me, do you think you spend more coming here than you would at a normal food outlet? Yes. How much more? Half as much? Twice um, as much? Probably twice as much. Do you think you get value for money out of it? Yeah. yeah, the kids love it. So much do they love it that the average family group spends just over $10 here, compared with about $5.75 at more conventional pizza outlets. This one pizza time theatre alone takes in more than half a million dollars a year. And towards the end of the week, customers queue for up to an hour just to get inside, even though the pizzas are much dearer than in neighbouring restaurants. You expect to pay more when you get free entertainment. If you go to Vegas and see Sinatra, uh, you uh, will pay a premium for your steak that you buy. You're not comparing Frank Sinatra with Chuck E. Cheese, though, are you? Uh, oh, no way. I wouldn't call him an animal. <laughs> In any case, uh, the uh, people are willing to pay a premium. We have raised our prices 15%. The stars at night are big and bright Deep in the heart of Texas The prairie sky is wide and high Deep in the heart of Texas Dolly Dimples, the singing hippopotamus, is powered by a computer system capable of handling 450 instructions per second. Dolly has a repertoire of more than 20 medleys and a bosom that rises and falls with compressed air. The next song is for my second husband, Eugene, who used to ride with the Texas Rangers. He's a long, tall Texan. He wears a 10 gallon hat. He the company's ultimate aim is to create a cutesy fantasy world in every neighborhood, to bring a mini Disneyland to your doorstep, and of course, to help your children spend a lot more of your money. The eyes of Texas are upon you. Well, if you liked what I did then, let's plan on doing it again later. See ya. I'm in San Jose in front of Chuck E. Cheese's Pizza Time Theater, the world's largest indoor pizza parlor. Now, if you're a parent and you've got some kids at home, I think you better pay attention to this story because before too long, Chuck E. Cheese and his Pizza Time Theater will be a very intimate feature in your life. Quiet on the set. Lights, camera, action. Who may fall? Hollywood. <laughs> Pizza Time Dinner proudly presents Down by the Old Not the New But the Old Hill Street Not the River But the Stream You were 16 Not Santa But 6 My Pizza Queen Not the King But the Queen Down by the Old <laughs> So I went backstage to talk to the man who makes it all possible. What this actually is amounts to is electronic puppeteering, only instead of having strings, you have button switches and uh, joysticks. I live in, uh, in one place and commute to Fantasyland. They have become real to me. I talk to them. They come in late on their cues. I'll say, well, my, come on, Chucky, you know, or come on, Jasper, you can do better than that. And uh, right, they come back and they do better. They do do uh, better. Yes, indeed. Do you think it's possible for us to create a human being? With these same technologies? Well, not with the technology we have now, but look at the technology we have now compared to five years ago and extrapolate what's going to happen in the next 10 to 20 years. Yes, eventually we'll be able to create a, a cybernetic uh, human being.
You know, boys, if you want to act like a beast, you've come to the right place. If you could talk to the animals, just imagine it, chatting to a chimp and chimpanzee, you'd study every living creature's language. Munch, what about so you? You want to dance? speak to all of them on people and not so real people and if you think this was fun where do you see where i'm going to be next week see you later handsome man. ladies and gentlemen the Electronic Theater Restaurants Corporation, the largest franchisee of Pizza Time Theater Incorporated, is proud to present the magic of the Pizza Time Players. Starring Mr. Munch, Jasper T. Jowls, Harmony Howlett, Pasquale the Singing Chef, and of course the star of our show, Chuck E. Cheese. Come on along and see what all the excitement's about. Since his first Pizza Time Theater opened in 1977, Chuck E. Cheese has expanded the dining out experience to a total package of family entertainment. Our basic reason for success is a unique ability to understand and serve our prime audience, families with children under 15. How do we do it? Start with great food. Pizza any way you like it. A complete salad bar. A variety of beverages. Plus mouth-watering sundaes to top off your meal. Now place your orders and the fun begins. There are two areas for dining at Chuck E. Cheese's. The main room has about 60% of the informal bench type seating and contains most of the cyberamics, robot characters who perform in the Pizza Time Theater to the delight of young and old. All right, folks, here she comes. The cowgirl who gathers more posses than Jesse James. Harmony, how left? And if you're gonna take his honky tonk and it ain't right, Harmony. That's right, Big C, so hit it, Pasquale. When you are sad and lonely and have no place to go, Come to see me, baby, and bring along some of those. And we'll go honky-tonkin', 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 honey, baby. We'll go honky-tonkin' around this town. Approximately every 12 minutes, the characters perform original four- to five-minute cabaret-like presentations drawn from a library of approximately 250 programs. And speaking of cabaret, that's what we call our secondary dining area, where tonight, lovely Dolly Dimples is at the piano. Now that I'm here, Fancy Face, why don't you tell me about my future, since I know all about my past. And while you're at it, why don't you sing along with my song, in addition to these areas, private party facilities are also provided for groups up to 65 persons and may have additional Cyberamics characters like the one, the only, the king. Love me tender, love me true, all my dreams before and after dining, kids and parents enjoy the 60 to 85 video games and tables, arcade favorites like skee-ball, and kiddie rides for our younger guests. There's also a general store which offers a line of toys, small gifts, and t-shirts featuring Chuck E. Cheese and his friends. Entertainment for the whole family. Kids learn, kids laugh, and so do parents and grandparents. Chuck E. Cheese's Pizza Time Theater. We're growing because we've made it fun for the family to dine out together with wholesome food and entertainment in the most unique format this side of Disney World. Chuck E. Cheese, a star is born and America loves it. Tonight on Evening Magazine, meet a man who says he can teach anyone to sing, even you. 
then we'll meet a photographer who photographs the love between fathers and daughters. Rides, games, entertainment. Hi, I'm Scott Devenny, and what am I talking about? Disneyland? No way. The best electronic pizza parlor in the East Bay. Hi, everybody. I'm Jan Yanahiro. This is Richard Hart. Tonight, sing along. Right, I brought you each a party hat and party a party hat. horn. Oh, there you thank go. you. Thank you very much. And you are good. Well, thank you. Broadway should look for her. I, I want her hat. I want your hat. <laughs> you can't thank, thank you, thank That's you, thank you. That's a great one. Not only that, but I brought you something real special, too. Your very own giant chocolate kiss. Yes, oh, sir. <laughs> thank, thank you, you Denise. Too. I'll let you get one, too. Thank you, Denise. Thank you, Denise. You're welcome. Oh, terrific. Nice talk. Well, while we munch on these, here's Scott Devenny with one of his best. Hi, I'm Scott Devenny, and tonight I'll take you to a place that'll get you out of the kitchen and the kids out of your hair. The best electronic pizza parlor in the East Bay. Several years ago, a guy named Nolan Bushnell sold his company, you may have heard of it, called Atari and started looking for something else to do. Now that something else turned out to be a combination amusement park, video arcade, pizza parlor called Chuck E. Cheese's Pizza Time Theater. We visited Chuck and his pals at their Pleasanton home near the Stone Ridge Shopping Center, a well-designed establishment segmented to house various activities. Hi guys, how you doing? But the real attraction is back here in the dining area where Chuck E. Cheese and the rest of his Pizza Time cast entertain. This mechanical menagerie is animated by an elaborate pneumatic system controlled by computer. The programs change from time to time and special numbers can be called up for birthday celebrations or to announce the arrival of one of the stage character's human animated counterparts. The little ones really respond to these characters and their affection is generously returned. With all this activity going on, I'm probably the only one who cares about the food. But for the record, I liked it. There's a large assortment at the salad bar, and the pizza is tasty with a thin, crisp, matzo-like crust. Different, but good. Recently, one of Showtime's franchises broke away and went into competition with the Big Cheese under the title Showbiz Pizza Place. Now, one of those places is right across the highway in the city of Dublin. So, uh, let's go check out the competition. The elements here at Showbiz Pizza are very similar to Pizza Time. Video games, kitty rides, mechanical stage shows, and pizza. The big difference is in the sophistication of the animated figures. The movements are more lifelike and the songs aimed at a more adult audience. I really enjoyed the musical arrangements of Showbiz Pizza's Rock a Fire Explosion and was captivated by the choreography. This is a slick performance by any standard. I suspect Showbiz is trying to attract a larger teenage audience and it seems to be working. By 8.30 on Friday night, most of the families had cleared out and the place was packed with teenagers. So how's the food? Well, showbiz's prices were cheaper than pizza times, but you get what you pay for. The salad bar was amply stocked, but they gave you a plate not much bigger than a mason jar lid to put it on. Our pizza was bland, and the topping rather skimpy. All right, here's my conclusion. If you've got a family of teenagers and you want some entertainment, give showbiz pizza place a try. They're at 7590 Amador Valley Boulevard in Dublin. But if you've got little ones and you want a good meal, then Chuck E. Cheese's Pizza Time Theater at 5572 Springdale Road in Pleasanton gets my vote for best. Of course, there are many more pizza parlors around the Bay Area that, than those with games. This was the East Bay. <laughs> Yes.
Thank you very much. We appreciate it. And we have some more people. Look here. This is Craig Carroll. Did I say it right? Right. Craig and? Keith Ludwig. And Keith and Chunky Cheese was running around here a moment ago. Were you looking for him? I was. Well, he, he was having a great time today. What did you bring us? We brought you a check, Dewey, for $1,000 from Chuck E. Cheese's Pizza Time Theater in Tempe. Super. Lots of cheese. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Ken. And it's time to meet our good friends from Circle K. You're starting your weekend off with PM Magazine. Tonight on our show, we're going to tell you how you can buy a used house at a used car lot for under $20,000. Then we're going to meet these kids. They say they're hooked on Tron, the movie, and the new video game. And Chef Tell shows you how to turn ordinary rice into a delicious rice salad. Hi, everybody. I'm Hal Heil Bryce. And I'm Joni Heil Bryce. And tonight's show comes to you from Chuck E. Cheese in Tempe. I'm sorry, what did you say? Chuck E. Cheese in Tempe. <laughs> it's loud here, and all the <laughs> noise means fun. We guarantee you. Lots of neat things happening in here. It's a pizza parlor that everyone will enjoy. Let us tell you about it tonight. Cheese is a pizza parlor in Tempe, but most people who come here don't even notice the food because they've got shows and video games, shows like Dolly Dimples. Give her a token and she'll sing her heart out all night long. It's really a creative concept in a restaurant. And if you have kids, this place is a must. Now tonight, if you are looking for a house and you want to be creative and different, well, the next story is for you. We're going up to a used house lot in Montega, California, where you can buy yourself a used house. Richard Hart has the story. <laughs> That's Dolly Dimple, ladies and gentlemen, here at Chuck E. Cheese. Now, getting back to our story, Tony says that he has driven as far as 300 miles to deliver a house, and he'll go even further as long as he doesn't have to go on a freeway. Stay with us in a moment, Joan Embry, and then after that, a trip to the land of Tron. I want to know, how do you handle a wild video game fanatic? We're not going to get that information tonight. We are, however, going to learn how to handle wild birds. And then Chef Tell has a nice rice salad. It was all the rage, but now it's Tron. And next up, Hal's going to take you behind the scenes of the game and the movie. So stay with us. Called Tron. It's the story of a guy who gets himself stuck inside this supercomputer and then has all kinds of trouble getting himself back out again. Well, as these things go, as surely as there's a movie, there's going to be a video game. In fact, Tron video game is really one of the hottest ones this summer. These girls are really having a good time playing it this evening. It turns out there's a competition going on nationwide to find the best Tron player. Tonight, PM's Dave Durian tells us who's coming out on top. Video games are the computer age replacements for pinball machines. Last year, video games collected more than $7 billion in quarters. And each year, these coin-operated computers get smarter and smarter, just to satisfy the hunger of video game addicts. But what if the computers get too smart? What if they start playing the games by their own rules? I was planning to hit the Pentagon next week. Pentagon? That's what happens in Tron, a $21 million science fiction thriller from Disney Studios. The movie centers on a video game whiz named Flynn, who is too good for his own good. He gets laser zapped into a corrupt computer's master control program. This isn't happening, it only thinks it's happening. Flynn's only hope for escape is to beat the computer at a series of life and death video games by teaming up with the other good guy, Tron. Who's that guy? That's Tron. The movie is a revolutionary breakthrough in computer animation. But what may be more important to the people at Disney is that it captures the imagination of everyone who has ever put a quarter into a video game. Get them! Disney Studios and Bally Midway Company, the maker of Pac-Man, have teamed up to create an unbeatable video game. 
and they organized a contest to find the best Tron player in America. I'm going to make it one way or another. If I do good in this game, I should win it all. I, I think I do pretty good. He's going to win, I mean. Now, these are not your average casual video game players. They are the cream of the crop, gathered together for the district playoffs in Butler, Pennsylvania. The winner of this tournament could go on to win the grand prize, a home computer, and a trip to New York City to meet the stars of the movie. To stay in the running, the challenger must possess all the skill and ingenuity of the movie screen heroes, not to mention a pocket full of quarters and a mind full of imagination. I try to, I try to make the machine an extension of myself. In the film, motorcycles traveling faster than the speed of light leave a wall of energy behind them. The trick, in the movie and in the video game, is to get your opponent to crash into one of those walls before you do. On the small screen and on the big screen, the good guys battle everything from tanks Spiders, all in an effort to gain access to the evil master control program. There are programs for more games. Acknowledge. Somebody pushes me, I push back. Then it's a matter of knocking off the computer bit by bit in an effort to break into the memory cell. When Tron players get serious, it's hard to tell whether they're playing a game or living a fantasy. Yeah, it's only a game. It, sometimes I forget, but... <laughs> it's possible, it's very possible, that a computer could someday take over. No one knows who wrote me. I'm worth millions of their man years. It's, it's just a game, though. <laughs> With only one round left to play, the top contenders were apparent. John Kirkpatrick, a 13-year-old from Akron, Ohio, and Al Cooper, a hometown favorite. Well, I know what I tried before, so I'm just going to do the opposite, and it should work. Yeah! yeah, I mean, I can get into it to the point where I become an extension of the game to where I start viewing my little men almost as extensions of myself because I don't want to lose them anymore and I don't want to lose myself. Let him hope for a while and blow him away. You got it. I don't care about it enough to try to keep from losing. Al Cooper cared enough about it to win the district finals. He now has a chance to compete for the grand prize. This may be just a game for most of us, but for Tron champions like Al Cooper and the movie hero, Flynn, it's a game to be taken seriously. But in the end, uh, it's only a game I have to go home. Yeah, it's only a game. It, sometimes I forget, but... <laughs> Listen, I've already spent $5 on this. You want to show me how it goes? I cannot get it right, I swear. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll have more PM Magazine after I get some more quarters, okay? <laughs> Lots of fun on this job. Pretty good pizza. Now we see a lot of things, and we have to say that Chuck E. Cheese is by far one of our favorite places. Just makes sense to me if you have kids. This is 
a pretty good place to bring them. Yeah, everybody knows when you've got kids. It, every once in a while, it's nice for somebody else to entertain them besides you. And there's lots of entertaining things here. Video games galore, animated little uh, skits going on behind us. And it's really a good time. The pizza ain't bad either. Yeah, and there's Chuck E. Cheese there. And the kids really seem to love him. That's pretty neat. We have to mention our PM person. Right, right. Uh, we are starting something new with the fall premiere of the PM personal. If you have a special message you'd like to send to someone, let us know. The address will probably be at the end of tonight's show, so write it down and send us a very special message and we'll read it on the air. Everybody. Joni's Wardrobe by Judy's. Hal's Wardrobe by Captain's Quarters. Classic menswear, Uptown Plaza, and the Borgata of Scottsdale. On the next Under the Sun, meet some of the little people of Arizona and how they help each other in a big way. Then Jan DeAutry talks with Richard Simmons during his Phoenix visit for the Arthritis Foundation. An encore showing of Under the Sun, Saturday at 5.30 on TV3.